Hello everyone, it is Heidi and welcome back to this week's episode of Baby Name Sunday. So this week I am going to be sharing a list of sand and sea inspired boy names. So these are going to be unique names that are kind of like beachy and summery, have that kind of feel, just like last week's video with the girls list. If you haven't already seen that one, go check out my description down below. I'll have the link directly to it. And if you are new here, my name is Heidi and every single week I upload a baby names list here on YouTube. I also do have an Instagram that you guys can go check out where I post a ton of name content. I also do offer baby name consultations. So if you are on the hunt or in a little bit of a rut with baby names, I would be more than happy to help you out with that. There is my email right here for you guys to check out and email me any questions that you might have. All right, so let's dive into today's list of sand and sea inspired baby names for boys. And thank you guys for everyone who did send in some name submissions for today's list. Starting off the list here, we have the name Zealand, spelled Z-E-A-L-A-N-D. This is an amazing place name for boys, has a little bit of edginess, and it literally means where the sea meets the land. Next up, I have Kawai, spelled K-A-W-A-I, Kawai. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. I'm pretty sure that's the way it is, as it's a Hawaiian rooted name, meaning coming from water. Another Z name option is Zuma, spelled Z-U-M-A. A Zuma, so fun and peppy. It's a Malibu beach name and it means peace. Ronan, spelled R O N A N, Ronan, one of my favorite Scottish names meaning a little seal. Then for a twist on the name Sun, I have Sunlo, spelled S U N L O. Sun low. How fun is that? It's obviously a sun derivative. Next is Indri, spelled I-N-D-R-I, Indri. It's an animal name found on the island of Madagascar. So cool. And in Sanskrit, the name means possessing drops of rain. Bo, B-E-A-U, Bo. This one is inspired by the surfer Bo Foster, but it's a French rooted name meaning handsome. Next is Niles. Spell N-I-L-E-S, Niles. Now this is inspired by the river, but it also means little cloud. Merlin, spell M-E-R-L-I-N, Merlin. It's Welsh rooted, meaning sea fortress. Then we have Rio, spelled R-I-O, Rio. This one's more neutral, could work for girls as well, but it's a Spanish rooted name meaning river. I have the name Faro, spelled F-A-R-O-E, Faro. This one's inspired by the islands. Next is Kano, spelled K-A-N-O, Kano. It's an African place name and it's Japanese rooted meaning god of the waters. Sanders, spelled S-A-N-D-E-R-S, or Saunders, I guess. And it's Scottish rooted, meaning defending man. But you can also do like the nickname Sand or Sandy for a boy. Laken, spelled L-A-K-E-N, Laken. It's English rooted, meaning lake. Soul, spelled S-O-L, Soul. Such a dreamy name. It's Spanish rooted, meaning Sun. Now before I move on with the list, make sure you guys are adding some Sand and Sea inspired names down in the comments to, you know, boost some inspiration as well. There are a ton of names in this category. And then make sure you guys are giving this video a thumbs up. Please, please, please. It would mean the most to me if you guys could do that and hit the subscribe button as well. All right, moving on. Next up, we have the powerful name Triton. Spelled T-R-I-T-O-N, Triton. Now this is obviously Ariel from The Little Mermaid's dad, but he was the god of the sea. Then we have Sorley, spelled S-O-R-L-E-Y, Sorley. It's an Irish rooted name, meaning a summer sailor. Next is Cyan, spelled C-Y-A-N, or Cyan. And this one is a bluey hue name, almost like the color of the ocean. And then for another shade of blue, we popped in the name Cerulean, spelled C-E-R-U-L-E-A-N, Cerulean. I think this is so handsome. And again, it's a hue of blue, basically like the color of the sea. Speaking of the sea, we have Caspian, spelled C-A-S-P-I-A-N. Now, just like in the girls list, I did Caspia, 
for a boy, I love Caspian. It's one of my favorites, and this is a direct C name. Another color name, I have Indigo, spelled I-N-D-I-G-O, Indigo. This one is also pretty neutral, I would say. Works for both boys and for girls, as you can derive that nickname Indie from it. Love it. And this one is a bluey, purpley hue. Again, just like the C. We have Dorian, spelled D-O-R-I-A-N, Dorian. It's Greek rooted, meaning gift of the ocean. Then I have Irving, spelled I-R-V-I-N-G, Irving. I love this name so much. I don't know why it's one of my favorite um, vintage male names and it's Scottish rooted, meaning green river or sea friend. A little bit trendy, we have cruise, spelled C-R-U-Z, cruise. This could be considered like a cruise, cruise ship, ship name, or it means cross. Then for one that was sent in a ton of times is the name Finn, spelled F-I-N-N. -N. Now Finn, Personally, I love F-I-N, like a literal animal's fin. I think that's super cool. So it could be derived from that, or it's an Irish rooted name meaning fair. Moving on to more of a nautical name here, I have the name Anchor. Now I have it spelt two ways here. I have A-N-K-E-R, which I think is really cool for an alternative for a boy, but we also have Anchor, spelled A-N-C-H-O-R, which I really love as well. Now this one's a nautical word name, but it also could be that symbolism of grounding in the family. Next is Hurley, spelled H-U-R-L-E-Y, Hurley. This is a very sea kind of surferish boy name. It's Irish rooted, meaning sea tide. Next option here with the summertime in mind, we have the name August, spelled A-U-G-U-S-T. August with that nickname Augie I think is so sweet or Gus. It's obviously a summer month name and I think it suits so perfectly for this list. Then we have Sydney spelled S-Y-D-N-E-Y. Sydney. Love this one for a neutral name option and it's an Australian place name. Wavo spelled W-A-V-O. Wavo. This is totally up my alley. It's a futuristic variant of the name Wave. Then I have McMurray spelled M-C-M-U R-R-A-Y, McMurray. You can even just do Murray as well, but it's Scottish rooted, meaning from the land by the sea. Speaking of the land by the sea, I have the name Dunes, spelled D-U-N-E-S. Now I love the plural form of Dune, Dunes for a boy. I think it just sounds too cool. Then we have Sandry, spelled S-A-N-D-R-E-Y. Sandry, or you can do Sandre. I think that would be a handsome kind of pronunciation alternative. And it's a habitational name from the word sand. Lear, spelled L-I-R, Lear. It's the Irish god of the sea. Then I have Declan, spelled D-E-C-K-L-A-N, or you can do D-E-C-L-A-N. Now this is Irish root meaning man of prayer. Then we have Rocky, spelled R-O-C-K-Y, Rocky. And this one means a rugged coastline or waters. A name that's totally bright is the name Ray, spelled R-A-Y, Ray. This one can be derived from a ray of sunshine, but it also means wise protector. Next up is Sheldon, spelled S-H-E-L-D-O-N, Sheldon, with that nickname Shell or Shelly. It's English rooted, meaning steep side valley. One of my absolute favorite names on this list is the name Okeanos, spelled O-K-E-A-N-O-S. Okeanos, and this one is the Greek word for sea. I love the nickname Oki as well for this one. Next is Syro, spelled C-Y-R-O, Syro. It's Persian rooted, meaning sun. Then I have Amos, spelled A-M-M-O-S, Amos. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. It's Greek rooted, meaning sand. Next is Ross, spelled R-O-S-S, Ross. It's a very classic English name, meaning peninsula. Then we have Orton, spelled O-R-T-U-N, Orton. This one is super handsome, kind of vintage sounding. It's English rooted, meaning from the shore farm. A couple Japanese rooted names here. First is Aoki, spelled A-O-K-I, Aoki. It's Japanese rooted, meaning blue tree. Then I have 
Kaito or Kato, spelled K-A-I-T-O. This one you can do that nickname Kai, and it's also Japanese rooted, meaning sea or ocean. Back over to a surfer name, we have the name Sully, spelled S-O-L-I, Sully. So this name was inspired by Sully Bailey, who is an Australian surfer. Next is Kanoa, spelled K-A-N-O-A, Kanoa. I hope I pronounce his name because it is a surfer inspired name. Kanoa Igarashi. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but I loved his name. Kind of reminds me of Kainoa, but Kanoa without the I. Switching back over to another place name, I have Athens, spelled A T H E N S, Athens. Now, this is a Greek city name. It's an absolute ancient city along the coastline. Mavi, spelled M-A-V-I, Mavi. It's Turkish rooted, meaning blue. Byron, spelled B-Y-R-O-N, Byron, inspired by Byron Bay, and it's a bay name in Australia. Reddy, R-E-T-I, Reddy. This one is Hindi rooted, meaning lord or sand. Next is Reef, spelled R-E-E-F, Reef. This one is a stunning ridge of coral rocks and sand. So for the next one, I have the name Ocean, O-C-E-A-N, Ocean. This one was sent in a ton. It's a given for this list. But what about, just like dunes, making ocean plural and do oceans for a boy with that S, oceans? Like it sounds so vast and handsome. I think it makes it completely new and a little less trendy like Ocean does without the S. Oceans for your boy. Another word name here, sea inspired, is Isle, spelled I-S-L-E, Isle. Very handsome, it means island or peninsula. Next is Cannon, spelled C-A-N-N-O-N, Cannon. Now this one is a beach name in Oregon. Saw the pictures and it's stunning, so Cannon. Another great one here is Marrow, spelled M-E-R-R-O-W, Marrow. It's an Irish folklore name for a merman. Next is Seton, spelled S-E-A-T-O-N, Seton. It's English rooted, meaning seaside town. Then I have a couple strong names here, guys. First off, we have Neptune, spelled N-E-P-T-U-N-E, -E, Neptune. It's a Roman sea god and Actually, Neptune means cloud, which I thought was really interesting. Then for another strong one, we have Poseidon. It's spelled P-O-S-E-I-D-O-N, Poseidon. So handsome, and that one is the Greek sea god. Next name here has great nickname potential for Akai. So this is the name Okai, it's spelled A-U-K-A-I, Okai. It's Hawaiian rooted, meaning sailor. Then I have Murdoch, spelled M-U-R-D-O. O-C-H, Murdoch. This one's kind of cool. It's Scottish rooted, meaning mariner. Another M name here is Malachi, spelled M-A-L-A-K-A-I, Malachi. Obviously you can do the C-H-I ending as well if you don't want the Kai. And this one is Hebrew rooted, meaning my messenger. We have the vintage name Cliff, spelled C-L-I-F-F, -F, Cliff, it makes me smile. It's a nature word name. Then I have Fraser, spelled F. R-A-I-S-E-R, -E Fraser. Now this is a river name, but the name means strawberry. Another English word name here is Seabrook, spelled S-E-A-B-R-O-O-K, Seabrook, with that nickname Brook, Brooks, or even Sea, and this one means trickling stream. Okay, for this next one, guys, it is bold, but I had to add it because it just spoke to me. And this is the name Shark. Spelled S-H-A-R-K, shark. What do you guys think of that? I mean, we have all these different animal names, but I think for like a really cool little surfer beach boy, shark, like so powerful, right? So I thought that was fun to add for like an edgy animal name. Next, another wave alternative is Waverin, spelled W-A-V-R-E-N, Waverin. You can totally do the nickname Wren for this one as well. So you have both Wave and Wren. An occupational name is Fisher, spelled F-I-S-H-E-R. This one is definitely a very uncommon 
occupational name. I really actually do like that one. Then we have the French name Embrun or Ambrun. So E-M-B-R-U-N. Now this one was really cool. It's French rooted meaning surf. So I thought that was really fun and it plays well for the English speakers but also the French speakers as well. A couple B names here that are definitely very cool with that E-R ending. So first off we have Beecher, spelled B-E-A-C-H-E-R. Beecher. This, that one's really cool. I love how like edgy it is. You can do that nickname Beach. And secondly, I have Breaker. Spelled B-R-E-A-K-E-R. -E Breaker. Now this one kind of reminds me of like the breakwater, like, you know, offshore area. Short name here, we have Thai. Spelled T-A-I. Thai. It's Maori, meaning tide. Then I have Sunny or Sony. Spelled S-U-N-N-Y or Sony. S -O -N -N -Y. Why? Both of them means son of the sun. <laughs> Z name here is Zale, so Z-A-L-E, Zale. This one was sent in a ton of times. It's Greek rooted, meaning C string. Then I have Cape, so C-A-P-E, Cape. So this one is a nature word name that is so rare and so uncommon, but it means coastal land. I think that Cape could be that newcomer of like cove or coast. Cape. What do you guys think about that? Next is Kyler, spelled K-A-I-L-E-R. Another one of those Kai nickname names, and it means archer or bowman. We have Alto, spelled A-A-L-T-O, Alto. It's Finnish rooted, meaning wave. Next is Lukai, spelled L-U-K-A-I, Lukai. I had to add this one. I uploaded on Instagram and lots of you guys loved it, but it's a mix of Luka, meaning light, and and the Hawaiian name Kai meaning sea. So it's almost like the light of the sea. I have a couple word names here that are bold. I have the name Castle, spelled C-A-S-T-L-E, Castle. I actually have a very close family relative that named their little boy Castle. So I thought that was really cool. It's a strong and playful word name. And for another playful one is Golden, spelled G-O-L-D-E-N, Golden. And this one is the color of the sand, but also the color color of the sun. We're getting down the list here. I have a few other options. So next up is Sunner, spelled S-U-N-N-E-R, Sunner. This one's derived from the word name Sun. I thought that was really clever, guys. Very creative. Next is Kingston, spelled K-I-N-G-S-T-O-N, Kingston. This one's the capital of Jamaica, so kind of like a tropical destination name in a way, and it means Kingstown. I have the name K, so C-A-Y, K, very similar to Cape. It's a very uncommon um, nature name. It's a botanical sea name, the name of a reef of coral, rocks, and sand. I thought that was really cool. Another destinational name, we have Caicos, spelled C-A-I-C-O-S, Caicos. So this is derived from Turks and Caicos. I thought it was kind of fun and a little bit out there. What do you guys think about that one? I I think the spelling is super handsome and I think it's totally usable. We have another surfer name, guys. It's the name Kolohi, spelled K-O-L-O-H-E, Kolohi. I hope I'm also pronouncing it right, but it is derived from Kolohi Anding. I hope I'm pronouncing his last name as well, but it's an American surfer name. A Sanskrit inspired name here again, we have Akash, spelled A-K-A-S-H, Akash, and it means sky. Then we have Tidal, so T-Y-D-A-L, Tidal. Now again, this is another one I uploaded on Instagram. Everybody's been loving it, and it like a tidal wave, like the rushing waters. I think that's another uncommon name, just like K and Cape Tidal for another uncommon kind of nature-y, beachy word name. Another surfer, guys, we have Yago, spelled Y-A-G-O, Yago. And this is derived from the Brazilian surfer, Yago Dora. Then I have Morrissey, spelled M-O-R-R-I-S-E-Y, Morrissey. It's Irish rooted, meaning sea taboo. Second to last name, guys, we have Bay, spelled B-A-Y. This one's totally neutral. Any of these kind of see naturey names always neutral and it means an inlet of water then last but certainly not least we're going out with a bang here because this one is very powerful and that's the name 
Titan, spelled T-I-T-A-N, Titan. Now, a lot of like sea gods, they're all like Titans as well. So I think this really encompasses the power of the sea. And this one's Greek rooted, meaning defender. I love that for like that bold kind of almost ancient word name. I thought that was really fun. So that is it with today's list. I hope you guys enjoyed it. A lot of sand and sea inspired names that are just oh, something else. Now leave down in the comments below if you guys have any other name ideas that might be similar to like this style list. Like do you guys want to see uh, sun inspired names? Do you guys want to see, I don't know, moon and the stars? Like what kind of um, themes did you guys want to see? I really like the sand and sea. So thank you so much for suggesting that. I hope you guys are taking care and having a wonderful week. We just celebrated Zayla's birthday party yesterday and then tomorrow is Zayla's birthday. So make sure you guys go over to Instagram and I'll probably be posting quite a bit tomorrow. So bye guys. See you next Sunday with another baby names list. All right, take care. Bye.